on the third day of Vlogmas. So on day three, I'm going to continue storytelling, but this time it's not a story about quilts. It's a story about how I started quilting. Uh, I dedicate this to my friend, Sarah. Uh, she is the reason why all of this happened. So I blame her 300%. It all starts back in 2008. Uh, I was working at a company that she lovingly referenced as the suffix. Uh, anybody who knows where I worked, obviously, probably still won't get it, but it was amusing once I finally understood. And uh, she was our admin on the floor and she was, you know, wonderful person. We would uh, chit chat with each other every now and then. I later found out that she was trying to figure out the types of people that I was into dating. And, uh, as she would ask various questions, she would get confused because she would have answers that led one direction and then other answers that led other direction. And she just didn't want to flat out and say, Hey, are you? So, uh, it was, you know, it, it was kind of fun also to mess with her because I started to figure out what she was trying to go after. And, uh, I'm not going to lie to somebody, but it is fun to, you know, press their buttons a little bit by uh, giving hints in the direction that they aren't accustomed to. Anyway, I think we were out to lunch one day and I ended up telling her about the guy I was dating at the time. And she goes, I know it. I was trying to figure it out. And, you know, we had a little giggle over that. And then she said, you should come quilting with me. And I looked at her, I was like, I don't know if I'm that kind of gay. And she just kind of laughed and I just shrugged it off. It, I didn't know what I, if I was interested in it or anything. And I had a friend who loves to quilt. Uh, I've seen his stuff and he would drag me fabric shopping in our uh, weekend shopping excursions. But I was bored out of my mind because I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't know what it could be come out to be it was just you know okay yeah we're stuck in a fabric store i felt like a stereotypical husband though we weren't married but I, I i know how women's husbands feel when they get dragged to the shopping store or the um quilt stores and then comes october and i get the notice that i am being laid off at my position there and she goes you could come quilting with me. And I said, no money. <laughs> and, uh, that was, you know, trying to figure out, okay, I, I can't really do it if I don't have any money. Little did I know how much money it would really cost, but I digress. That company, they gave us three weeks notice on uh, the fact that we were getting our positions eliminated. And they said, hey, if you get opportunities to interview, then go interview. That's more important than whatever knowledge transfer, anything that you have to do with your job. So I was lucky enough to get a couple interviews with my current employer. And uh, it was, uh, we were, I was officially laid off on Halloween. Uh, on the day after Halloween, I had a Russ got laid off party, uh, just, you know, jokingly when I said I needed to get laid and uh, everybody got lays around their necks as they came in because I wanted to make sure that it was appropriate because some of my former coworkers came in. Uh, and then that following Monday, I started talking back with the recruiter that I had been working with for my position here. And it was just after lunchtime, I got noticed that said, hey, uh, they want you and everything. So I had a job lined up. I joked that I was unemployed for about five and a half hours, five and a half business hours. So uh, when I knew that I was going to be getting severance from my old position and getting paid in the new position, 
I said, well, maybe I'll try to give this quilting thing a shot. It seems kind of interesting. So uh, I went out, I bought, it was an $89 Kenmore machine from Sears. And I bought some of the basic uh, notions that you need. I got a cutting mat, a uh, rotary cutter, a couple rulers, uh, stuff that I didn't know what I would need. Uh, some stuff that Sarah had said that I would probably need. Uh, just handfuls of things. And uh, come January, she uh, got me signed up for the Saturday sampler program at the local quilt shop. And we picked up our first block and uh, brought it back to her house. And she taught me and another friend of hers how to quilt in the method that she had learned how to quilt. And when I got my first block put together, I was, you know, in love with the block. Uh, it was wonderful colors. Uh, I did not know the difference between cotton and batiks at that point, but I was playing with batiks and I loved it. Uh, and I slowly worked in uh, the Saturday sampler and it worked. Uh, it was no real training, but I was able to get myself taught a little bit on how these rulers work, how the rotary cutters work. Uh, she wasn't a pinner, so I didn't get taught how to pin. And frankly, I'm still not a pinner. Uh, but, you know, I got a handful of blocks done and I thought it was pretty cool. Then after the 12 months of the Saturday Sampler program, they're talking about finishing kits. And I was completely lost. So for the first, I don't even know how many years at this point, all I did was make blocks from the Saturday Sampler program. Uh, I would sign up for the programs, I would do everything, and I would just make blocks. And it got to the point where I was getting a little disentertained, uh, I think is the term that I want to use. I was enjoying doing what I was doing, but I didn't feel part of the community. Uh, I was this, you know, male in a in i was a younger male in a primarily older women uh hobby passion so i i didn't feel you know outcast from them but i also didn't feel welcomed in completely at the same time uh the shop owner and the shop workers they got to know me and they obviously welcomed me in but you know you, you get that weird feeling, especially when you're an introvert like me. So trying to go out and say, you know, this is me. It wasn't a lot of excitement. Uh, after a couple of years, uh, I finally joined the Men Who Quilt Facebook group. And when I joined that, I think it was the day after next day, somebody had posted that a picture of a Saturday sampler block that they were working on with their local quilt shop. And I looked at it, I was like, that looks just like the one that I just started. And come to find out, he lives in the area and he was talking about a handful of guys who are in a Facebook chat together. And uh, he got me hooked up in that little group. And we kind of, you know, we empowered each other in. Uh, continuing the passion and encouraging each other that, you know, things that we thought were a hot mess, pointing out that they really aren't a hot mess, that there's all these good learning features about it. Uh, one of the people that is, it was in that group is uh, my friend, David. Uh, he, he has designed patterns. Uh, he has a handful of patterns out. Uh, he, they're, few and far between right now when he's been publishing them uh, just because of a lot of stuff going on in his life. But he's got some gorgeous patterns out there. He does paper piecing and he's the one who got me really motivated uh, to continue my passion of quilting. So if it wasn't for him, I probably would have given up quilting probably 10 years ago at this point, but because of his uh, enthusiasm 
for the art, I was able to, uh, you know, just continue on and learn more. I have learned a ton from him. I have since, you know, taken a good number of classes at the local quilt shop. So it, it's been a wonderful passion over the past handful of years, and I'm looking forward to even learning more as, you know, new patterns come out, as new techniques come out. Uh, one thing, I probably still won't be a pinner. I do use binding clips when I'm putting on my borders just because that helps keep them a little bit manageable. But I have packets of pins that I haven't opened yet. So I don't think I am going to be much of a pinner as uh, I get into my whole quilting technique. So that in a nutshell is how I got started quilting. Uh, it's all Sarah's fault. So if you, you know, know anybody named Sarah, you could ask her if she knows me. And if she does say, it's all your fault. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I, I really do enjoy it. Uh, I know that I've spent way more money than I probably should with quilting. But, you know, when it's a passion and you enjoy giving the gift of love, it it's worth it. So that's today's Vlogmas. Until tomorrow, happy holidays.